There we go, we got an arc. Let's try it. That was really loud. That was like a firecracker going off in the garage. I think I uh, actually do safety. This wall was blocking me from it. That was loud. Power's off and unplugged. That's what's left of it. Finally, the explosion I wanted. I gotta get some more of these and do some more. I wonder where all the bits of glass went. There's some of the filaments there. But, yep, yeah, it was uh, about 75 volts ahead on the primaries and it was 25 amps or so. It didn't take very long, that's pretty surprising. Well, I don't think I'm going to find one as good as that last one, I don't have another halogen. But uh, I'm going to try this one. Oh, look at that. Power's off. Didn't even pop. Just melted and fell off while the bulb was still intact. That's weird. That is a pretty far distance. So I don't know if I can even pop this one. Now yeah, we'll see. Alright, it looks like I have a spark able to be made. Alright, this one will form an arc. I have tried. So we'll see what this one does. You could go all day like this. Maybe I'll shut the lights off. Good old stuff. I think I'll keep that on all night. Seven and a half amps each for each MOT right now. I think my camera battery's gonna die before anything actually happens. Here's what it looks like, it's just a little arc down there. It's not putting out much light. I'll just crank it up to 25 for a second. Just put it in more. Hmm. I think it's going to give up on this one. Yep, just glowing. It kind of looks like one of those uh, neon lights. Or whatever those uh, indicator lights are.
Got a couple of them around. It's basically what it's doing right now. Weird. Well, I guess I'm gonna give up on this. I'll shut it off. Unplug it. So there it is. Those two little tabs on the left and right. Just had an R going for can go forever. I'm gonna switch it to the other terminals and uh, see if I can do anything with those that big filament. Probably not. We'll see. Alright, see what it does. Short circuit. So I can't pop a regular bulb, I guess. No, I'd say they're both down there. I can't pop it though. It just glows. I need some transformers. I can take more. Maybe I'll wear this up for 2,000 volts and see if it'll help me out. Alright, this is with the output of those transformers in parallel. Nineteen to twenty three amps is very all on its own. And it can't be done. That was the right combination. A little less voltage and a little more current. Couldn't have done it without two transformers. That's it. Oh, little piece on the ground over here. I'm not going to touch that yet. So, it can be done. I wasn't watching anything, of course, because it wouldn't be safe to do that, would it? No, this one's cooled off. I'll show you this one. Yeah, it just, it's still a ball, but there's it's melted off. Didn't crack or anything. The gas should still be in there. Another standard incandescent bulb, up to 2,000 volts, and at about one and a half amps. It's got a bit of an issue. And lots of smoke. That was a little disappointing. There it is. The glass melted. Cracked. No explosion, though. Maybe I went a little hard on it. I had to vent it from that last one even though it's 15 degrees outside. All right, got another one, regular incandescent. Before I change the setup, I'm going to see if uh, 2000 will work on the other bulb, even though it is the same. Hey, it works on this one. Oh, no. 
melted. This one just flat out melted. No, oh, you can't see anything, can you? Look at that. It's still one piece. It's opened up and melted. That's a keeper. Ah, oh, it's split. Fuse itself to my alligator clip. Look at that. It's all the way around it. It's just melted. This one wouldn't work on 2,000 volts, but I'll uh, switch it over to 4. Huh. Well, conduct inside the ball. Weird. Can't even, 4,000 volts will jump between those two alligator clips before they blow the film inside. Must be something wrong with them. Leads inside the bulb. Well, that's all I got. That was my last bulb. But I'll get more. Jumps between that gap faster or better than. Shouldn't I jump between that gap? That's a small gap right there compared to this. I think that's a smaller gap. But it jumps here first. I don't know. It was a good run. That was some pretty good uh, explosions there. The halogen was by far the best. That was loud. We also got some weird ones. Some melted bulbs. Like this. That was one piece at one point, but didn't survive it when it came off the alligator clip. Another melted one, but still sealed. Another melted one with the hole in it and cracked. And the exploded one. That's what I wanted to see. Look at even off the glass that help holds the legs together. That's neat. And the halogen. That was the best one. And what was left of the little ones. Alright, that's it. That's all I got. More videos will be to come for high voltage.